Hi everyone. My name's Karen and I have been on quite a journey and this is one that many people are on and have been on for years now. And mine was clonopin, a benzodiazepine, which I've been on for 12 years. I had no idea exactly what I was going to experience. I I just had no comprehension. I'd watch some videos. I've watched tons of videos since then during that time and always seeming to be um still feeling like I was alone and I still couldn't reach out to anybody because watching people on YouTube it's not easy when you're going through benzo withdrawals to be able to be function to to be able to read because you can't see and you can't type your mind has been so disfigured and everything is warped it has been the worst experience in my whole life and we've all had bad experiences and you think can it ever get worse I don't think anything could ever get any worse than what I've been through what I've put my husband through and especially him but I have my sister also but um, very little time being able to talk on the phone to her or even be with her at any time in I'd say over a year over a year I started my journey in September of 2018 and I finished my journey as of this month actually it was I would say um, October Tuesday the first was my final day suffering an unimaginable torture that I I and others can't even begin to describe or even want to even relive it when you've gotten so far down the road that you just want to get so far away from it that you don't ever want to think about it or talk about it again and I I really didn't plan on doing this for quite some time because it's so fresh I have to say that that I've never been so alone and so scared of anything I don't think I've ever had a thought or a dream that has ever scared me as much as the experience that I had the majority of everybody goes through similar things some of us more some of us less but I like maybe only one other person that I know of that is on YouTube but has been taking quite a break and I can surely understand why now and it's probably for the same reason is that uh, it is the most acute the acute case of benzo withdrawal I not only started winging off of uh, clonopin I also came off of Zoloft cold turkey uh, triliptal a seizure medication cold turkey Seroquel cold turkey and um, Requip, cold turkey, 
for restless leg syndrome and Remron. Um, I even tried that a couple times cold turkey and got down to practically nothing on that. So that's uh, Clodopin, Zoloft, Triliptal, Seroquel, Remron, and Requip. Um, that's a lot of medication in a short period of time. And starting in September, and in four months, I was off. I was off. So I know the first thing everybody thinks, and the first thing that everybody wants to say is that, girl, what do you think you are doing? That was just plain crazy and dangerous. But every time I would reach out to watch a video, it was the same thing over and over. It's going to take time. You're going to heal. It's going to get better. And I am not, I don't want to be negative, but this is my experience. This is how I feel. This is what I, what I thought the whole time, and what I think now is that it wasn't worth it. it. It wasn't worth it. The damage was so severe and being on it for that long and that many drugs was going to take me years. Years. And just what I went through in the last four months, I could not go on years and years. Go through years and years of that no way and needless to say I didn't I made that I made the decision that I wasn't going to it wasn't anything planned it was that the desperation and the torture was more than I could bear another second so, I'll probably go make this short, but I just want to say that I'm sitting here right now, and I'm alive, because I almost wasn't Tuesday. Tuesday is the last memory I have after I took a whole bottle of um, muscle relaxer medications, 45, um, I forget the dosage, 45 pills, and that's the last thing I remember until my sister and my husband started telling me this unbelievable story about a sister and about a wife in ICU and the things that they witnessed that I have no comprehension of anything. The only thing I remember is waking up someplace in hospital clothes. I was in a different state. No, I was still in Oklahoma. I thought I was in a different state. I thought I was in Texas. But they had transported me um, after two days into a um, mental hospital in the city here and I spent nine days I refused to continue to take the medication that I had worked so hard and went through so much agony and torture to get off of that I, it came to a point where there was no escape. I couldn't try to kill myself again. There just wasn't any way. And I begged, I begged them to uh, put me back on the clonopin. But at, 
the lowest dose and the Remron for sleep and that was it. So I came a long way. I'm only on those two medications plus requip for restless leg if I need it, which I have not. Um, they're at lower doses, way lower doses. So I know that I will be on these the rest of my life. The damage is done. It's irreversible as far as I'm concerned because that is a chance that everyone that makes this decision um, takes. It's a gamble. You are gambling. You are totally gambling with your life. And anybody that says that this can't kill you, every time I heard that, it just upset me so badly because most of the people are younger people. I am going to be 63 next month. And it's a lot different when you're older. Let me tell you. I could say that I'm a lot stronger than a lot of younger people, maybe. But then, again, I tried um, to escape my living nightmare. And I know people don't like to go into full details and descriptions because they don't want to scare anybody. But I want to tell you what, it's better. It is just better to just be honest because there's people out there that just got to know is this normal is it how bad is it for you because when I read all the hundreds and thousands of comments everybody's asking questions you know want to know answers you know and as many videos as you watch and you can't watch you're watching hundreds hundreds of videos and, and you're just not getting the answers you need I meant people are just you know they're just talking about everything and when you're searching you need specific specific topics you need to know certain things because you can just you, it's endless endless trying to find answers when everybody's videos are all the same they're all the same and you gotta sit through 30 minutes or even longer you know waiting and hoping to hear what it is that you want to know or need to know so basically basically all I'm talking about right now is that I um, struggled with that that was a my that was a problem a serious problem there's no outreach there's no help um, there's nowhere to go there are no Facebook groups uh, there are n no groups none I tried to get into one they just ignore you you my sister even tried one and something happened on there and they nixed her right off of there. The rules and regulations are unbelievable. I meant I, I, I never th thought you know with all this that's going on all over the world and in America that this that there just wouldn't be something better. Something something just anything but um, today was the first day I put makeup on and I washed my hair and rolled my hair first time in over a year because I had started a journey back in 2017 of trying to lower some, uh, some Seroquel and Remron and didn't get very far with that you know, but got far enough for the time being. And then my next video will be, uh, I will take one, you know, try to focus on different parts of this horrific journey because I want 
any money that sees this to think first, please, if you're searching, please think about what you're doing, you know, and nobody ever, ever try to get off of this many medications all at one time, and yes, you should never cold turkey any medication, you know, I'm, you know, I know that, I've known that, you know, long time back, but it seemed like no matter, every time I w would make progress, something would just, you know, I would take the, me you know, after a while, each medication started having even more, um, uh, more side effects, more strange things happening. It, it is a world of chaos and insanity. You are losing your mind. You, the world is not the real world. It's, it's not real. Nothing's real. You're not real. My husband's not real. My sister wasn't real. Food wasn't real. Nothing was real. I meant, I, I've never known so many different insane things that these drugs had done to my brain that without them that you are literally going insane and just on the verge of losing your mind but instead you're more likely to take your life and I want to talk more about that uh, more and I want to talk about you know, specific things, you know, and um, I'll have something written down so it'll be easier to follow and stick with one thing because I don't want to be all over the place because that's the one thing I had a problem with when I was watching everybody's YouTube videos. And thank God for all the people that are making the videos, but we've got to try to change the way that you do make the videos. I mean, most of the videos, I must admit, are the people that have prog that have gotten so far one to two years out, you know, and are recovering. You know, you, you seldom see the people that are in the worst state because it's, it's next to impossible to record or download or do anything you can't see you can't read you can't think you can't type you can't even talk you stutter I mean it, it's next to being born retarded I, I hate to say that and let me tell you what what you see right now is not what before Tuesday I didn't look like this. I aged 20 years. 20 years. And I am not kidding. 20 years. And I have taken, I met such a drastic transformation. Because what I look like was death. Was death. And even my husband said, you know, even you're laying there, you know, all almost dying or going to die every night he didn't know if I'd still be alive or not you know it was just the most horrible experience he's ever had there's just so much to this it's insane and talking about the doctors and where I've come in such a short time you know and how my insurance company, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, has just stepped in. You know, they've done more for me than anybody else has so far. And there's just a lot of, you know, everything's, I'm still kind of, I'm raw. I'm not, you know, I'm still not who I was before. And but it's nothing like it was nothing at all I can function 
I can think. I can do things. You know, but it's little by little by little. Because it's an awful scary thing to be gone for so long in this other universe that no one knows exists, you know, that you're in. And now you're back in this real world and it's, it, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. You don't, you don't even know who you are anymore. You're not the same person. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Um, is that I guess I should uh, um, see. You, I I still can't form my thoughts or think real well. You know, you can't expect everything to be perfect just because you go back on the drug. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. I had to beg them to put me back on the clonopin at a lower dose. I had to. I, I couldn't take it anymore. There just was no way out of it. No way. And I wasn't going to spend the rest of my life. I couldn't. How can you suffer that long over a year? How can you suffer that long, that intense, day in and day out, with hardly any what they call windows, when it's just all waves, and every wave is never the same, and things are just getting worse and worse and more bizarre as you go. So with that, I'll cut this one short, and I shall do another one. So for all of you out there that are on this journey or thinking about it, um, please check me out again and maybe I can be more helpful because this one really wasn't all I wanted to say was just kind of what was on my heart right now and, um, and that yes, this can kill you it can kill you in many different ways you're, you know so you, your heart can only take so much and your brain can only take so much and something's gonna give and it did in my case and I know that there's many that aren't sitting here today being able to talk to you like I am right now so for my next videos, I want them to to be more beneficial. I want them to be worth something. You know, I really, really didn't want to do this because I had said if I ever got through this, I don't want to ever talk about it. I don't want to see another video. I don't ever want to speak about it again. You know, it was just that horrible. But um, I'm going to do my best to try to do that. So, thank you so much for listening. Till my next video. Take care and be safe. God bless you all. Bye-bye.